Hey guys, this is John again. I uh, want to thank you all for uh, uh, looking at my uh, videos about disaster preparedness. I uh, will sometimes uh, repeat myself on various concepts as we continue through this series. Um, so just bear with me if that happens. Uh, you know, repetition is uh, not a bad thing. Um, and also, you know, some people might just stumble upon one of my videos and they've never seen the rest of the series. So, uh, if I, it might be, not be repetition for them. So, uh, bear with me as we go through these kinds of things. Um, today, what I'm going to talk about uh, briefly is just um, airplane crashes, uh, particularly as they concern uh, airlines and, and things of that nature. A lot of people have uh, this fear of flying and... Uh, there's a misconception that uh, all airplane crashes are fatal. And uh, David uh, Palmerton, he's a Federal Aviation Administration expert on uh, survival. Uh, he said that uh, the flying public thinks if you're in an accident, you're going to die. So you don't need to know what to do and don't pay attention to the briefing and read this safety card. And he says nothing could be further from the truth. And especially, uh, you know, frequent flyers, we, uh, we tend to ignore the safety briefings because we've heard them so many times. Uh, but if you're a new uh, uh, airline passenger flying for the first time, I would urge you to please uh, go ahead and read uh, that uh, safety card in front of you. And also listen to uh, when the uh, flight attendants are actually uh, doing that briefing. Uh, because that's going to be very important uh, if something were to go wrong. But if something were to go wrong, um, you're not necessarily going to die in an airplane crash. Uh, and in fact, from 1983 to 2000, the National Transportation Safety Board investigated 26 major commercial accidents involving 2,739 people. A total of 1,525 survived, or 56%. Okay. So if you... If you uh, continue to, to think about those kinds of things, 56% of the time you'll survive an airplane crash. Now that doesn't sound very good, uh, but we consider that 600 people a year die from falling out of, your, out of their bed. That's, uh, that's uh, pretty interesting. And in, in 2008, uh, fatalities um, involving airlines uh, that are operating on, under um, the uh, 14 CFR 121 um, and that's that's uh, rules for uh, airline carriers. Okay, um, 2008 fatalities was zero. Uh, serious injuries were only five, and that's out of 753 million emplanements. Okay, 753 million emplanements. Emplanements mean uh, means uh, people getting on a plane at an airport. So 753, uh, 753 million emplanements in 2008. No fatalities. Five serious injuries. So when you look at it that way, flying is pretty safe. Here's another interesting statistic for you. The chance of you being involved in a plane crash is about 1 in 11 million. Okay, And the chance of you getting uh, killed in an automobile accident is 1 in 5,000. So statistically, you're at a far greater risk driving to the airport than you are actually getting on the plane. And uh, there was another interesting statistic here. Let's see here. Uh, I think it was, oh yeah, this one, this one's a good one. You could fly once a day, every day, for 15,000 years in order to statistically be involved in an aircraft accident. That's, that's, that is very interesting. And, um, you know, keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, um, when you're on the airplane, um, Look at that safety card, and then uh, when you're getting on, count the number of rows uh, that you're going back to your seat uh, uh, in comparison to exit. So if something were to go wrong and uh, smoke fills uh, the cabin and you can't really see anything, you can count the number of rows, uh, whether you're going forward or backwards, to uh, the nearest exit. So that's a little tidbit, safety tidbit for you as well. Safety experts also said that... Uh, Airplanes would be far better um, designed for survival rates if uh, passengers were flying facing backwards. And uh, 
I think that's pretty pretty much true because if you look at uh, trains, um, they have uh, seats facing uh, backwards sometimes, and I always sit like that when I'm on a, a train. And I don't mean a commuter train here, and that you know the seat just comes up to here. I mean the the real trains we go long distances that you know the seats come all the way up, up to here, and we have a backrest. Um, so uh, airline designers should take that into consideration. The, actually, the worst uh, plane seats are on uh, Lear jets. So for all you people who are flying around your G5s out there, uh, facing uh, each other, sitting sideways, <laughs> not so good for your neck.